So hi, I'm Mark. This is Mark's Tech Vlogs on YouTube. And today I'm gonna to be reviewing the SwitchBot Hub Mini. Now the SwitchBot Hub Mini is really two products in one. Firstly, it's a way to make all of your remote controls smart. And secondly, it's a way of adding extra functionality to SwitchBot's other products. The Hub Mini costs £29 and is a fairly small white device with an indicator light on the front, which you can turn off. It's powered by a micro USB and it needs to sit in the same room as the remote controls that you want to control. This is simply because it uses infrared and infrared can't get through walls. So setting it up initially is really easy via the SwitchBot app. And then once it's set up, you can do two things. Firstly, you can pair any remote control with it. For this, there's a one click process and this works pretty well. And you can even then test the buttons and add additional ones if it hasn't picked them up from your remote. One example of this is that I added the source button for my TV. These remotes then appear on the home screen of the SwitchBot app so you can easily access them once you open it. For me, the remote screen isn't the prettiest in the world, but it does work really well. And by that, I mean it's responsive and it works every time. Secondly, the hub adds extra smart functionality to the SwitchBot devices like the thermometer or the SwitchBot switch. This means that using these products with the hub integration allows you to control them using Amazon or Google voice assistants, and then also Siri shortcuts and IFTTT. This means you can set up recipes or control everything with your voice around your home. For me, this is what really makes a smart product worth it because I use voice control for everything. In addition to this, the hub allows you to add scenes from the app. These scenes can then also be controlled with your voice as well as activated through the app. One of the really nice things about these scenes is you can set one of the really nice things about these scenes is you can set conditions for them to start, and then you can also cluster commands together. So for me, I've set up a scene that turns up the volume on my TV, and this is operated just through the voice control stuff, and it presses my volume up button four times. This is just one example of how you can combine the different commands, but if you had particular buttons and orders you wanted to press things, you could set these up. All in all, if I'm honest, this little device was one of the things that I was just not sure about when I was being sent, and I wasn't sure why I'd need it or whether it'd be any good, but actually it's really surprised me. It's also incredibly good value when you take into account that it costs typically between 25 and 29 pounds, depending on what offers are running. And the reason it's so good is because it can make any remote control smart and add voice commands. This means you can control remotes with your voice, obviously, but also through the app. This eliminates the need for a hundred remotes sitting around on your coffee table or trying to find where you've put it when you want to turn up the volume. One thing it is worth saying with voice control is you need the key phrase turn on. This means you end up with some slightly strange commands for your scenes. For example, to turn up my TV volume, I have to say, turn on, turn up TV. The other thing worth noting about the Hub Mini is that because it runs on infrared, it only works for remote controls in the same room as the controller. It's also worth noting with all of these devices that you are limited by Bluetooth and Wi-Fi range. What I mean by this is that if you're using them individually, you need to think about the range. So because they operate via Bluetooth, if you've got your SwitchBot switch in your kitchen and you're at the complete opposite end of your house, it might not work. This isn't a fault with the products, but it's all to do with Bluetooth range. Again, this is the same with the hub integration. Because the hub connects to them via Bluetooth and then relays that via Wi-Fi, you need to make sure that your hub can connect via Bluetooth to those devices. So again, if your hub is in your living room and your switch is in your kitchen, then it might not work. This is the sort of time where you might find yourself picking up a couple of hubs just to cover your whole house. So all in all, for £29 or slightly less sometimes, the hub is a great price and it works perfectly for making your SwitchBot products smarter as long as they're in Bluetooth range and making your infrared remote smart. All in all, for £29, this is a really good price for something with so much functionality. It's a really good way of making your infrared remote smart, but also making your SwitchBot devices that little bit better. For me, it's enabled me to switch off the Alexa skill for Samsung TVs, which is so bad it doesn't work most of the time, and use the SwitchBot one instead that works every single time. If you've enjoyed this video, do please give it a like, uh, click to subscribe. If you wanna pick one up, I've also put a link below. And if you've got any questions about this device, then do put them down below as well, because I'm sure there's stuff that I've missed, and I will try and answer all of those questions. I'll see you guys again soon.